Hey everybody, welcome back to TechExpress. In this tutorial, let's focus into integrating Webflow with Shopify, step by step. This integration is perfect for those who wanted to leverage Webflow's advanced design capabilities for their Shopify store. So whether you are a seasonal developer, beginner, web designer, this guide will help you to seamlessly blend these two powerful platforms. Let's get started. Now, Webflow and the Shopify integration. The integrating the Webflow with Shopify allows you to design your store front end and Webflow while managing your products and sales in Shopify, it's the best of both worlds. Exceptional design and robust e-commerce functionality. Before we start, uh, make sure you have an active account in both Webflow and the Shopify. So first of all, let's export your Webflow design. Start by designing your website into Webflow. Let's go here into Webflow. Usually what I do is to make sure that I have both accounts already been created from the same uh, Gmail account here from Shopify and well into Webflow. So today let's assume that you have already have designed your website into Webflow. So once you are satisfied with your design, what you wanted to do is to export this into an HTML file or CSS and JavaScript files from Webflow. So this export feature is available on paid Webflow plans, so ensure that you have the necessary access in order to continue. So publish to selected domains, preparing to publish, optimizing HTML, CSS, and GS files, packaging everything up, developing the CDN, and then later on it's going to give you an actual custom file once you have your custom file it's going to give you a great folder so what i wanted to do is to prepare for the actual integration head over to your shopify administrator panel what you wanted to do is to prepare your shopify store for integration by creating a private application. This application will allow you to use Webflow Design on your Shopify store. You wanted to navigate to the application and then what you wanted to do is to go into apps and sales channels and manage your private apps to set this up. So I will allow custom app development and here is my custom app development. Now let's integrate Webflow Design into Shopify. After you set up the private application, it's time to integrate Webflow Design. You can manually upload your Webflow files into Shopify them either, or to use a third-party tool or service to streamline the process. You want to ensure that Webflow Design is compatible with the Shopify platform. So usually what we actually do is to go back here into your online store. I click here, and then what you want to do is to add a custom theme. So usually what everybody does is to go for upload your zip file. The zip file is going to be provided, of course, by the custom Webflow. So once you have it already been showed your design, what you want to do is to import your design directly in here at the file. And you wanted to make sure that you have all the elements speaking about the Java, speaking about the CSS files, the HTML files, and automatically it's going to be installed right away. So as you can see, this is how it's going to be looking our store. But then I wanted to choose the Webflow design, which is actually now this one, and you hit now into published. Once you hit into published, you wanted to go into view your store. And this is how it should be looking after you make the installation of your store. You wanted to make sure now that the testing and finalizing your integration. Once your design is uploaded, test your site thoroughly. Check out any design inconsistencies or functionality issues. This step is crucial to ensure a seamless shopping experience for your customers. Make any necessary adjustment based on your testing. Usually, what happens a lot is that maybe if you are working with a specific font in here, sometimes it doesn't appear into Shopify because you need to download of that so let's say for example that you chose an a specific text um, font here so let's say for example that I go here into my style I have the flex child uh, title display and um, of course that would be actually it so if you don't find uh, how to download it I'm gonna go and open any tab and I'm gonna type Google fonts Inside Google Fonts, you can browse a bunch of fonts that are totally free that you can download out and then later on, you can import and of course, add to the file that was downloaded with your Webflow design. So all the elements are going to be added right away here into Shopify and you don't have, you won't be having any problem with that. And there you have it. Your Shopify store now boosts as a stunning Webflow design. With this integration, you can enjoy the flexibility of Webflow design tools along with Shopify powerful e-commerce features. 
If this tutorial on integrating Graphic with Shopify was helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to TechExpress for more web designs and e-commerce tips. How many questions or experience with this integration? Share them into the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Happy selling with your newly integrating store. Stay tuned for more helpful guides and tutorials. See you guys next time.